to make sure you do in fact finish this so there's no you know lingering stuff here so just to be clear you have done prisms prisms are rectangular prisms you could have triangular prisms and then we move into things like well you could even have like octa or hexagonal prisms these are less common i don't know if you guys are doing that or not um these are all prisms and then you may also have seen like cones. That's also a prism. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So then, then there's kind of this transition to um, two things: cones, party hat, and then uh, and then pyramids. Okay. So I'm hearing I'm hearing you you've got kind of all of these in play. Is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah, we've, we're basically these are like the main six we're going over right now. Okay. And, and then the last one here that you might see would be like a sphere. Have you talked about those? Not yet, but I'm assuming we'll probably. Not yet. Okay. There's two things they generally ask. One is, um, one is the volume. That's, you know, that's, that's the nice one. The surface area is the other one. Is that also being covered or just, just volume? Mm, just volume mainly. Just volume. Okay. So let's let's do this here. I've got um, I think I've sent this to you before, but I'll I'll drop in the chat the uh, this really really solid reference sheet here, and uh, let's work on some of the new ones. So let me just jump drop this in the chat here. Let's work on some of the new ones here. So let's say, and I do have to find. Um, few problems here because these are better to grab when someone else has drawn them rather than me free sketching them my strength is not uh you know free sketching these shapes but let's take a look here uh let's see if i got one yeah here's here's one okay so let me snip one in and uh, we'll talk about uh what to do here so here is a pyramid okay mm -hmm. the base the base is down here at the bottom 10 and 8 is it a square pyramid or something else it is a it's a square pyramid square pyramids have the same lengths in all the dimensions all the way around oh so, so okay. even though maybe it looks square this would be considered a rectangular uh rectangular okay. pyramid okay. and even though it doesn't look like it those are all 90 degree angles gotcha okay so the, the volume of a pyramid, it's, it's much like what we've been doing. It's base times height, the area of the base, which in this case is a rectangle, times the height. This is the height here in seven. But then there's this one third thrown in. Yeah. So I would do. So let's this, find the area of the base first. Yeah. yeah. So to get the, the area, isn't it? Is the area is just. Base, base times height, right? Base times height. You got to be careful. It's not the same big B. It's the it's the you know length times width thing. So it would be ten times eight, which is eighty. Yeah. And then volume equals one third eighty times seven. So you would times 80 by seven to divide that by three, which gives you 186.6, six repeating. Um, and then and then inches cubed. Oh, inches. right. Yeah. Right. Because it's one third 80 times seven, like you said, but it's inches cubed. What was that number again? You, uh, no, 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 this one does divide 80 times seven. No, that you're right. Fifty-six does not divide. What did you What did you say? I said one eighty-six point sixty-six. Repeating. That sounds right. Yeah, one eighty-six point sixty-seven inches cubed. Good. Okay. So let me give you another one here to try on your own. Uh, let me snip it in, and we'll look at some other types of uh, pyramids here. Right, so that would be 
three times one, which gives me three as the area. And then I do three times seven divided by three gives me three times seven divided by three gives you seven. So it'd be seven centimeters cubed. Seven centimeters cubed for the volume. Perfect. Okay. Now it's also possible for you to have a different kind of base for uh, the pyramid. Like we we mentioned, kind of it could be a square, but the other one that's fairly common is a uh, triangular yes. uh, base. Okay. So uh, yet another formula to remember here. Let me throw this one up in front of you, like this. So it may be hard to tell, but they do a really nice job with these drawings. Uh, the, tr the area of the triangle or the base is one half bait times height. So that's uh, that's going to be needed. And then the same thing for. Uh, so base equals area equals one half B times H. So base times height. So for this, I would. What I so I would times the the seven by the eighteen, correct? Good. And, and then cut it in half. Yep. So seven times eighteen divided by two is sixty three. And then I would do uh, what? And then I would just do the volume, which would be. Volume what, what, what and you got 63 for the 63 centimeters squared yeah yeah so the volume is the the area of the base times the height which would be seven or not seven um 11 times 63 which gives me 696 which are 93 and then i divide that by three which okay. gives me 231 uh, centimeters cubed. Okay. Very good. Let me have you do one more here before we move on to some other ones. So the the um, it, it's always nice when you do the same type of problem over and over again. You know, you get a real feel for you know the numbers that are just right there. No big deal. So go ahead and try this one, please, and uh, let me know what you come up with, and then we'll switch to some other types of shapes. So this would be. <laughs> 14 times 20, which would 14 times 20 is 280. And then I divide it by two, which gives me 140. And then I would do 140 times 15 divided by three. 15 divided by three gives me, that's not right, 140. Times fifteen divided by three gives me seven hundred millimeters, or yeah, millimeters cubed is the volume. Right. Is, is that your final answer? I didn't, I didn't know if you're all done. Yes, 700 millimeters cubed. That's my final answer. Yes, that is correct. Very good. Okay. Now the other one, the other kind of uh, kind of kind of problem here is the cone, uh, the party hat. If uh, you like that reference here, um, let me grab a, a snip here. It's got the same formula. Like it's it's really not any different than pyramids. Um, it is. The volume is the area of the base times the height, but one third. This time though, the base is a circle, pi r squared. Okay, so they have to give you the radius, they have to give you the height, and they have, they're giving you everything in here. So um, you're definitely gonna be rounding your answer uh, because you're gonna use like 3.14 for pi or just putting pi in um, to the calculator. So this one here is pi times five squared or 25 pi. And you can go to the calculator and round that to one or two decimal place. Gives you 246.5, which 
Uh, that sounds pretty oh, large. I, unless, unless you give me the whole thing. Wait, so I did, I do five. So I do 3.14 times five. Well, no, you have to square five first. Order oh, of okay. operations says to square before you multiply. Okay, so that's 3.14 times 25. Yes. Gives me 78.5. Okay. And then the uh, volume, you're going to use that number, 78.5 times the height, which is 10. So go ahead and calculate that for us, please. Gives you 785. And then if you divide that by three, it gives you 261.66 repeating. So it'd just be 261.67. Okay, and what about the units here? Uh, millimeters cubed. Good, good. Okay, so let me give you another one here to look at. Um, so a cone, a cone could be resting on its side, sort of. It's, it would never actually physically do this, but sometimes they give you problems like this. Um, the radius is still the number that comes out from the center to the edge, and the height is still the, the I don't know what to call this, like the top of the party hat from the bottom. So if you need to, you would rotate like your paper if you didn't like this. Make it just look better. Make it look, yeah, I know you can't do that on the screen, but that would, if you if you don't like the way it looks, rotate your paper, not your head, so you don't get a crook in your neck. Um, yeah, this should look like this. Gotcha. All right, so three. So go ahead and calculate the volume for us, please. So that would be, so three times three is nine. So that'd be nine times 3.14. Which gives us it was 228.26. And then I would 28.26 times that by seven and divide that by three, which gives me 65.94 feet yep. cubed. Good. Yeah, really good. Okay. So most students, if I give you one problem right or if I, I say okay it's it's like here it is calculate the volume but I tell you what it is I tell you it's a cone or I tell you it's a pyramid like usually you can do that the challenge is well what if I give you a bunch of different ones in a row and so that's that's what I want to do with the rest of our time today here is to kind of just throw different ones at you so the first thing I want you to do is determine what it actually is like give me the name of it and I sent over that uh, reference sheet in the chat. You're welcome to open that, give me the name. The only reason I want the name is that you know the formula. I don't not care. I don't care that you can remember that it's a, a blah, but it helps you to know the formula. So, so will you is, look at that? Go ahead. This is a rectangular prism, I believe. Got it. Rectangular prism. So now the if you look on that sheet that I sent you, there's a couple of different formulas. You can use length times width times height or the area of the base times the height. If you use the formula base times height, you have to decide which is the base. And there's not a there's no wrong answer here. It could actually be any of the faces this time. All right. So I'm going to use base times height. I would just do 17 times four. Okay. So that's your that's your base. Which is equals 68. Make sure you put units next to that one, just, just in case your, your teacher's really critical on stuff like that. And then for the volume, the volume is, so for the volume, oh, for volume, I would do 68 times, would I do it by four again, or? So here's what you, here's what you did. This is, this is, this is where, you, where you could go wrong. You chose this to be the base. Mm -hmm. So you have to look for what's called the lateral edge posts. That's the that's the the height. So okay. it's, it's it's essentially the other dimension that you didn't use. Oh, okay. Which in a prism it doesn't matter because you can choose whatever whatever you want. Um, All right. So then I would just do that sixty-eight times ten in this case. Yes, sir. Get it. And. 68 times 10 it equals 680 uh, meters cubed. Very good. Okay, so not too bad. Um, 
the fact that you identified it is really critical here. So here's another one for you to look at. Again, I want you to tell me the shape first, please. It is yeah. a pyramid. What kind of pyramid? A rectangular pyramid. Yes. So grab the formula for that. You tell me what that is. So that is, isn't is base times height. Or for the volume, it would be yes. uh, it's the area times the height divided by three, correct? Yes, very good. So your base, like you said, is a rectangle. So you have to you have to find the area of that base times height. So 15 times 12 gives me 15 times 12 equals 180 meters squared. And then I times that by 20, which can be 303. Then I would divide that by three. Gives me 1,200 meters cubed. Yeah, you're gonna be the final answer. That's great. Yeah, that's two hundred meters cubed. Fantastic. Okay, doing excellent. Let's uh, let's do another one here. All right. So this is uh, I think we probably considered the hardest one that we've done thus far. Um, all right. So when you're when you're before you give me the answer of what it is, make sure you recognize that the bases are parallel. So there better be at least two of them that are, it better be, a, they better actually not touch, not intersect, I guess is another way of doing it, saying it. So I would do. But give me, give me the name of this first. That's, that's. Is this a, is this a trapezoid? Is not a trapezoid. Not a trapezoid. Remember, it's a three-dimensional shape, so it's got to be something, uh, you know, middle column or right column. Um, and actually, it's not on that sheet. It's it's a it's it's a variation of one that's on there. Variation of one. Is it a right prism? It is a prism. So let's look for the right adjective. The right adjective is the one that tells you the base. So like, like, let's go back up and look. See how you said it was a rectangular prism because this is a rectangle? Yeah. But it's parallel. That one in red is parallel to the one in the back. That's also in red. Um, and see how they don't intersect? Yeah. Okay, that's important. Let's go to this one. I don't want to just give you the answer, so I'm sort of stalling here. Um, um, and then is this just a rectangular prism then? Or is it so a if it is, if it is, which is the base? Or which ones are the base? It would be the 19 and 9. So where's the other one? There has to be two bases that are parallel. Oh, the would it be the oh oh is this then is this a triangular prism? Yes, very good. So the the top. There's a triangle, that bottom is a triangle. See how they never intersect? Yeah. Okay. So to find the volume, you first have to find the area of the base, which in this case is that triangle. Go ahead and do that for us, please. So would you 19 times nine? Eighteen times nine equals one hundred seventy-one. One hundred seventy-one. All right, and then at, yeah. Do you have to? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, you're using. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're using. Okay. Did you cut it in half? Did I cut it in half? It's a triangle, right? Oh, the, yeah. I gotta divide that by two, which gives me. 85.5 meters squared. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm hearing things I don't like. Oh. So it's it's 12 and nine. So the one in red. Oh, the red, the red I, I, I see what I did wrong now. I went at it like it was a rectangle. So let me 
fixes. So yeah, 12 times nine gives me nine is 108. And since it's a true, and then would I divide that by two for, for the four? Yes, because it's a triangle, yep. And then I divide that by two, which gives me 54. Okay, centimeter squared. So the volume is 54 times the height. The height is the is the edge that connects the two bases. So it would be, would it be night? Yeah, it'd be 19 in this case. Yes, yes. And that's, yeah, that's why, if, I mean, if you had an extra pencil or pen or Sharpie or something to like identify it, it really would help to, to, uh, okay. but uh, that's, you know, your call. If you just multiply that by 19. 19 equals 1026 and then yeah centimeters cubed very good all right so uh you know summarize today uh to do your volumes you have to know the formulas and then you just go at it uh, working them the way uh way we just talked about